Hi guys, Kerry and Brown here of Kerry and Brown Music Promotion. So I'm just going to talk about a little topic, hot topic I saw today on social media, of course. And what I'm going to talk about is um, I saw a video of a young man on Instagram today, like early this morning. And he was, you know, look like he's in a hospital setting because he had the, the leads on his chest and whatever you call it and his mother was there with him so this young man was um he went live on his social media to uh, to speak about the fact that he died right he died not once but he died twice but the thing that caught my attention in the video is the fact that the young man said that when he died both times he met the devil, Satan. So I was like, what? So I went. And of course, I was in shock just like everybody else. And I went and I played back the video again. And I'm saying to myself, really? That's what he said? Like he died not once, but twice. And he met the devil? So I was like, okay. So I continued to listen to what the young man was saying. And basically, he was saying that, you know, he wanted to do the video because he wanted to let everybody know, you know, maybe he might reach one or two persons out there or a couple of people. And maybe he might win souls for God or maybe he will inspire somebody with his story. You understand? Because he said that he met the devil and that he wants to change his life. He said he died, um, um, he almost died two times. You understand? And both times he said he met the devil the first time. And he said the devil was calling him, like the devil was welcome, welcoming him um, by saying son. And he's, he found that very, very strange because everybody know that in real life, that how the world or society portrays the devil is a person with two red horns and he's red with a fork in his hand, right? But this young man said, no, the devil is no way, shape or form, like how social media or society proclaim the devil to be. He said the devil looked like a normal, beautiful person and his voice was so beautiful and welcoming and he made you and he made him feel so comfortable by calling him son when he died you understand so i don't know what type of sickness this young man had where he ended up in a hospital people and he said he died um uh, he almost died twice because in the video i am about to show the video at the end of my little uh video here and in the video where he's talking you can see on his chest that he has the electrodes from the hospital where they hook him up to the vital sign machine to monitor his heart rate and breathing and such and such um he still had them on and his mother was in the room with him and it amazes me the video why because the young man said that he never went to church he doesn't believe he never read the bible or anything like that but because of his near-death experience, people, he now believes in God up above. And he's urging people to get, re uh, um, to get their heart and their soul um, ready, you understand, to like be on God's side. And he said the devil is not a good person, he said. He said he, when, he went, when he went and he met the devil, when he almost died, he said he even ended up in he went to hell he went to hell he said you understand and that made me think like okay if you almost died and when you almost die you ended up in hell that's not a good thing that is not a good thing so maybe that was a little wake-up call for him as his mother would say in the video as well you understand for him to change his life and and for him to believe in god up above because people will all know um, so many different religions, so many different ethnic groups and cultures is in this world. Some people don't believe in God. Some people don't believe in religion. So for this young man to come out on his social media page and say, I never believed in, I never went to church. I never read the Bible. 
I, I'm not a spiritual person, but after my near experience where I met the devil, when I almost died, not once, but twice, it has made him change his life. So he made the video, you know, to talk about his experience, his near death experience. And he said he even went to, um, the second time he said he even went to heaven the second time because he said when he went to hell and he met the devil the devil was such a welcoming person he called him son and the devil was beautiful and his voice was beautiful just like a regular human being and he said in hell there was a road that led into a gate and then the gate closed and then he said when he looked up the second time he saw heaven and um he said he, he went to heaven as well the second time around. So this young man, um, as I said before, um, he went live on his social media to, you know, to tell his story about his near death, not once, but twice near death experience uh, and how he met the devil and how he saw heaven. And he's doing a video just to encourage people to live right on this earth. Because as you know, and as you can see what's going on in the world right now, so many things going on. People don't care about each other anymore. People don't love each other no more. We're in a pandemic where people who's not working is going crazy and all, all type of negative stuff. So for this young man to come out on his social media people and tell his story, how he met the devil and how he went to hell and to heaven and that he now believes in you know in a higher power or a higher being or god it's amazing and he's a young man he's a young man so that means um you know it, it wasn't his time yet and he did say in the video that he heard a voice that says it's not your time yet go back and that's when he woke up into his body and he saw you know the doctors and nurses and his mother around by his bedside and he told his mother about the story and you know she encouraged him to go live and that's what happened so the video is coming up next after my speech here people get right with god or whatever you believe in whatever your religion is just get right with god please you understand because look at what's going on we're in a pandemic so many people have lost their lives so many people have lost their loved ones as well. So, I mean, it's encouraging. And that's what even made me do this video right now. You understand me? It's, it's encouraging because there's so much negative stuff going on right now. And this young man video that I saw today, it really encouraged me. And, it's, and I want to share it with the world. So maybe somebody out there, it might touch them. Or somebody out there who's about to go do something negative, it might change their mind. You understand? But some people might say, oh, that, that youth, that young man, probably crazy or delusional or whatever it is. Listen, everybody have a right to their own opinion and whatever they believe in. But I just find this young man's video very inspiring. So guys, check out his video that's coming up next. And don't forget to subscribe to Kerry and Brown Music Promotion YouTube channel. Follow I Kerry and Brown Music Promotion on all social media. Follow my podcast on Anchor.fm. My t-shirts and hoodies are available for sale on eBay.com. And people, be safe out there. Remember to wear your mask. Remember to sanitize, okay? And remember to live and be good. Positive thoughts equal positive action equal positive blessings negative thoughts equal negative blessing you understand me and negative vibes and we don't want that in 2021 so big up to everybody be safe out there and god bless well i can't even tell it more because i don't know yeah my dad ain't gonna understand they don't understand bro like, I died twice. But all I'm trying to say is, bro, like, get right with God, bro, like, before it's too late. Like, get right with God, bro. I can't even tell you, man. Go ahead, tell him. It's, I'm telling you, it's gone. It's, it's...
Bro, like, like, bro, it's, bro, like, I'm probably, it's probably gonna traumatize me for the rest of my life, bro. I'm real deal laying on my deathbed. Tell me what you saw, Jack. Well, you ain't in your deathbed no more. I know, but it's like, man, bro, I was so scared, bro. I'm real deal face to face with the devil himself. The devil, bro. And he ain't like, it ain't none of that, uh, how my, how would, like, he don't, it, like, he's a real human being, like, I'm real deal. The, de the devil calling me his son, bro. The, the, the stuff that I seen, bro, like, it's it's real, bro. It's everything in the, in the Bible. Bible everything that I Bible. seen, bro, was in the Bible. It was unfolding. Like, I, as I'm in hell, bro, I see people in the fire crying. Pleading, like, asking for forgiveness, bro. And it was too late. And it was, too, it was late. too late for them. This is not like, I don't like know that. nothing. I don't, I don't read the yeah, Bible. Don't read I don't the know Bible nothing about anything. that, bro. Like, but on like as I was down there, bro, like the devil literally jumped from his kingdom in his wings. Like I saw the devil wings and his face, it ain't no like no, he don't have horns, like he's a regular person, bro. Like and he was as he was talking to me, he was like, he he what'd he say? He said, My son. Yeah, it was like he was trying to wake up. Yeah, he you. was waking me like he was saying like my son. And after that, uh all I heard was a voice saying, It's not your time yet. That's when I woke back up. Like the devil really wanted me in his in his mm -hmm. in his kingdom, like yeah. Like, bro, this stuff is scary, bro. Like, and so many people was burning. Like every time, like he had his chosen people. Where like the devil, he'll be like, um, he stand with me, like, and he's gonna stand a fire. Like he was as he was as he was in the uh, as he was uh, talking to me, he was kicking people into the fire and laughing, like, like. Mm -hmm. He's such a, like, and then his voice is beautiful, like, it's not what people tell y'all, like, the devil is. Like, I'm literally sitting face to face with the devil. Again, like, after my second, then again, after my, uh, my, like, my body left my soul again for the second time. And then, and as the second time, that's when I saw, uh, four horsemen. Mm -hmm. And, like, they was in different countries. Like, the first one, he was in, uh, the horseman, he was in, what I say? You told me London. Yeah, London. 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 The other one was in Russia. Bro, like, uncle, bro, I'm God, like, bro, I'm not lying. Read it. I'm really face to face with the devil, bro. Like, I died twice. I died twice, bro. I'm in hell. And I, and I seen heaven. Heaven, heaven and hell. Like, it's, it's no up and down, bro. It's, <laughs> uh, it's all up. Literally, it's all up. And then once you walk and, and, and once you go going to hell, bro, it's a long road and it's one and then the end of the road, it's a gate, it's a big gate and it closed. Like I'm not lying, bro. Like I seen the devil, me and him, like he literally riding me in my sleep. 